Hello everyone and welcome. Before I get started today, I just want to say thank you to everybody who has given me over 400 subscribers, so thank you for that. With Halloween just like a couple of weeks away, I know it's hard to believe here in the south that Halloween is here because it's 85 degrees today. More and more people are getting into homemade crafts for like the holidays, Halloween, Christmas, things of that nature. And in particular, there's been a surge of people wanting to make things out of gourds. And my fiance had asked me about making some jack-o'-lanterns out of gourds for her booth at the flea mall. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna make some jack-o'-lanterns out of gourds. And you don't need any special tools. You can use uh, a utility knife, a pocket knife, exacto knife, something along that line. You do not have to go out and buy one of those gourd carving Dremel tools. So let's go in the shop and get started. So here are the gourds that I picked out of my box. And size and shape are entirely up to your preference. The first thing I gotta do is sand these. And it doesn't matter if you use a palm sander or sand them, you know, just a piece of sandpaper in your hand or whatever. Uh, but you do need to wear a mask when sanding these. Yeah, I know everybody's sick of wearing their mask, but you do not want to breathe in the dust from these gourds when you're sanding them. So here are my gourds after I got them sanded. This one's going to be a fat jack-o'-lantern with a hat. And a little jack-o'-lantern with a hat. Then this one I think I'm going to turn into a ghost. And then here's another fat jack-o'-lantern with a hat. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the eyes, the nose, and the mouth on these. And what you make out of these determines how you open them up. On Sometimes you can open them up on the bottom, but like for this one, like I said, this portion I'm going to turn into like a little hat with straw around it. So when I go to cut this off, I'll be able to clean out the insides through that hole. So here's the face that I drew on this little gourd. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut all this out before I cut the top off of it. Now I know they make a gourd Dremel tool to cut all this stuff out. And I do mean gourd Dremel tool. They're made specifically for cutting out gourds, but you know, I think it's just another marketing gimmick. All you really need is an X-Acto knife or a sharp pocket knife or something like that to cut this stuff out.
So there's the face of my little jack-o'-lantern. This is the part that I'm going to use to make the hat. And I want it to sit kind of at an angle, so I'm going to cut it off kind of like that. And I'm going to use a hacksaw because the necks of these are really thick. So this is the die that I'm going to use, and this is a dark brown leather die. And when I go to apply it to the gourd itself, it'll actually turn kind of an orangish color. But when using this stuff, make sure you do it in a well-ventilated area. So you can see what I'm talking about when I say that it turns orange. Before I go any further, I'm gonna take a magic marker and go around and color the inside of these eyes black. With that done, I can now take and shellac the jack-o'-lantern and the cap. So here's my jack-o'-lantern after I got it shellac'd. And as you can see, the shellac does cause the leather dye to kind of fish out a little bit. But I like that effect because it makes it look like it's old. To make my hat, I'm going to take the cap and I've got some hay and I'm going to take a glue gun and run a bead of glue all the way around the perimeter of the hat itself and I'm just going to take and press it into the hay and I'm going to hold it there and let it cure up for a second. Shake some of the stuff that didn't stick off. Then we'll add some more glue around that perimeter and do it again. Now I'm just going to take some scissors and trim it up. Now I'm just going to take and run a bead of glue around the top and glue the hat to the body. So here's one finished jack-o'-lantern. Here are all my jack-o'-lanterns. I ended up painting this one and then the rest I did with the varnish and the shellac. I did not get to the ghost because it was sitting on my workbench and I hit it and it fell off and busted. So that's that. <laughs> And here's all the seeds that I got out of these gourds. So there's making jack-o'-lanterns out of gourds. And this could also apply to making like little Santa Clauses for Christmas time. And I may do a video on those as well. And my fiance took those four gourd jack-o'-lanterns and put them in her booth at the flea mall and sold each one of them for $15 a piece like two days after she put them up there. Which goes to show you that even though times are tough right now for everybody, that you can make money out of making homemade home decor items and selling them. So thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all next time.